Ever wanted to post one of your Facebook ads as an organic post on your business profile page or maybe even share it? Hi, I'm Tomer Nesher. I'm the co-founder of the Digital Reach Platform and today I'm going to walk you through step by step on exactly how to post an ad from your Facebook ads manager account to your Facebook business page. And we're going to start right now. Hey, how's everyone doing? So today I'm going to show you how to post a paid ad on Facebook as an organic post. And it's pretty simple and I'll walk you through step by step, but quickly just to show you the end result, this is what it looks like. You have my title, you have the image, you have the uh, descriptions right here, the headline, the learn more, which in this case, by the way, it's a lead ad, which is cool because the one of the purposes of using a lead ad on Facebook is that most of the fields are already auto-populated and when you complete it, that's it. So that's one of the advantages of doing this and you can see I pinned it so it doesn't get lost and you click over here, learn more. I already filled it out over here, but if you go back, you have all the auto populate fields. I'm just not going to go back because there's all my contact information. But yeah, afterwards you fill those out, uh, click continue, then submit. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And there you go. So let's walk you through exactly how to do this step by step. So first you need to go to your ads manager account. So your Facebook ads manager, you can go through your business manager account to get here. And uh, you can see already on my campaigns, I already have a few, but that's partially one for an example, but two to actually do what we're exactly what we're talking about, which is how to post uh, a paid ad as an organic ad. And I can walk you through the steps, I already have it. So I'm gonna do create. So what you're gonna do is create a new campaign. So you're gonna load a campaign right here. Uh, let's enter. Uh, it could be quick. It doesn't have to be anything fast. So I'll just call it test campaign for YouTube. Oh, sorry. I spelled campaign wrong. Uh, it doesn't really, none of this other, none of this stuff matters except for the fact that you want to actually do leads. So you want to go to lead generation or, I mean, it, it honestly really depends doesn't matter if you're not going for leads and it's not a big deal. But in this case, I want to go for leads. Um, I'm just gonna do one ad set. So it doesn't matter. Let's see the ad set name. I don't know. I'll just take one of my exist. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I'll just call it I don't know, YouTube example. YouTube example. I already accepted it. Now I'm gonna have to create a new ad. So let's create the ad. We'll call this same thing. You YouTube example ad, let's save to draft. Now it doesn't actually have to necessarily be pub published, but you should publish it either way. Actually, no, I believe it does have to be published, my fault. And so let's do quickly, let's go to the YouTube ad, ad example right here. All right, so I first need to add some sort of image. I'm gonna actually show you that utilize the image that I used prior. So what I'm gonna do is clear all I'm gonna add a media. So since I already have the image, it's gonna load up. It's actually gonna be this image right here. I'm gonna press continue. Perfect, I'm actually gonna choose the add previews because it's gonna slow down my computer, but I already know exactly, it's really not important right now. Because now all I need is to put the primary text. Perfect. Now I can keep the, I'll keep, I'm gonna change the call to action real quick because that's not, if I want somebody to contact us, I can either do a get a quote, get an offer. Uh, but in this case, let's do get quote. I mean, I can always do learn more, but this is for a free consultation, right? I mean, it's not necessarily too important. And I already, so this is where, if you're gonna do lead ads, this is where you create the lead form. That's why I'm getting this error message here. Uh, since I already have one, this is just for the post. So I'm just gonna keep it. And I have, I mean, if you want to see how to do actual lead gen, lead forms on um, Facebook, then you can watch one of my other YouTube tutorials, uh, Facebook tutorials. And right here, see, so I mean, this is a kind of a mobile preview of exactly how this would look. And this is exactly how it looked, by the way, as a Facebook post. And everything is done here. Let's uh, publish. And you can see here my ad is, my campaign is already published, but I want to turn this off because later on I'm going to delete it anyways. The next step is actually to go to your ads manager on the top left corner. So those nine dots now, where it says ads manager, scroll all the way down and go to page posts. Click that. All right, so now we're at the page posts and we wanna click on ads. And you can see, by the way, here's the post and all the engagement. Click on ads, click right here. And then under actions, 
you're going to click, you can even schedule it out by the way, but in this case, I just want to publish it. So you're going to, and this is how, by the way, it's going to look. So this is what the post will look like. So want to grow your business, contact us and see how we can help request a free consultation, see how we can help get a quote. Um, then you click publish. Are you sure you want to publish selected scheduled posts? Yes. Yeah. And it posted right here on my Facebook page and that's essentially it. That's all you need to do is I mean, I thought it was pretty simple. I hope you guys thought it was pretty simple. And all you would do afterwards is pin it. I don't want to pin it right now. But after you pin it, you're done. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like, comment if you have any questions. And we'll see you here back next time. Take care.